So on my quest to find a good pickup, what I want to do is take apart two different pickups. One, a Gibson pickup, and one, a knockoff humbucker. So I've got a Chinese Alnico 2 humbucker and a Gibson Alnico 2 humbucker. And I want to compare them. It's pretty easy to determine a bad single coil pickup. These are Chinese pickups and you can see all the stray wires and a lot of microphonics. So first things first is I wanted to weigh the pickups. The Gibson comes in at 5.2. The cheap one comes in at 4.6. It's a pretty big difference. Lots of surprises here as I begin to take these apart. So first things first is taking off the covers. This always is a little bit of a pain. This is a Gibson 490R neck. You just get a little soldering wick and hold the soldering iron close to the solder joint and it'll eventually pull it off. This took a lot longer than I originally thought. And if you can't get it, you get a little screwdriver in there once you got most of the solder off. And you just pop that joint with a screw. Sometimes the cover is a little bit hard to get off, so I used a screw to loosen it up. Lots of wax in this pickup, so you know it's sealed properly. You can see all the wax everywhere. That's why it's hard to get off. So then you go ahead and do the cheap pickup as well. Surprisingly, I had more trouble getting this cover off than the Gibson. I ended up using the screwdriver a lot more to kind of pop them off. So definitely not as much wax between the two pickups. You'll see a lot more wax on the Gibson. So I could tell the Chinese pickup was potted from the amount of wax that was coming off. But the potting, they must have done it for about 10, 15 seconds versus the Gibson probably going three or four to five minutes. You can see the difference here. Gibson uses the cloth tape. The cheap pickup is using some really bad plastic tape. So here's where some of the surprises then start. This is the Gibson cover. And then the Chinese cover is ex exactly the same weight. So I'm wondering if they're just producing the covers and everyone's using them. Not everyone is actually producing made in the USA parts. And so as I make my pickups, I'm going to source all made in the USA pickups. These are the screws, the lead screws. They weigh about the same. One interesting piece though was the top of the Gibsons was much thicker than the cheap Chinese one. So then here's the weight of the Alnico pickup from Gibson. It's 0.6. And lo and behold, 0.65 for ceramic magnet. Big difference in the magnets. What was supposed to be Alnico is definitely not. It is ceramic. And with the weight being a little bit more, it's really interesting. So you can see the strength of the magnetic fields here. Ceramics on the bottom, much stronger. And I take this to my Gauss meter. Here's the Alnico. And you can see how much stronger than the ceramic is at the same distance. So then we weigh the base plates, which is where some of the larger weight differences sit. Here we're at 0.8, and then we're at 0.5. That's a pretty huge difference. Even though the Gibson is a little bit longer, it's significantly more dense than the other one. So then let's weigh the bobbins. And here we're at 2.3 for the Gibson set, and then we're at 2.1 for the Chinese set. There's a little bit more wax on the Gibson set but still was surprised by the weighting. The bobbins are a little bit thicker for the Gibson set than the Chinese set. The Chinese pickup uses these legs to sit correctly, while the Gibson uses the wood spacers. The metal spacers were similar, but the Gibson one was much more refined. Did not get a weight difference reading due to the sensitivity of the scale. Then we weigh each bobbin, and the Gibson bobbin is heavier than the Chinese bobbin. Two reasons could be one is Gibson's using better quality copper wire, or they actually have more physical windings. But the windings looked similar in terms of number of windings with the thickness on each bobbin. 
So looking at the wire and measuring it, they're about the same thickness. This looks like 42 AWG Famovar wire. I'm assuming the Gibson wire is of higher quality and made in America versus the Chinese. So then lastly, we weigh the connection wire. And the Chinese wire doesn't register a reading. And then the Gibson one does. So definitely higher quality material with the Gibson wire, much better material than the Chinese wire. I weighed some of the secondary parts, but couldn't get a reading. Here you can see the screws that connect the bobbins to the base plate. The Gibson ones are much longer. So then here's the tail of the tape. And the biggest differences were in the base plate and the bobbins themselves. There were other minor readings, like a 0.1 versus a zero, that I didn't really call out because of the rounding of the scale. The scale wasn't all that sensitive. So definitely higher quality wire and the Gibson, higher quality base plate. I was really surprised by the covers, not having a difference in weight, and then the magnets as well. You know, you're stating Alnico 2 when you're getting ceramics. That was a pretty big mistake on their part. Careful when you're buying Chinese stuff. You never know what you're going to get. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next vid.